Hey guys, so I'm actually outside today in a long sleeve shirt, which is kind of awkward. Um, but today I wanted to bring you guys a video on kind of my modeling story and how I got started. And I'm gonna try to keep this short because I know that not everyone has time to like watch a really long video and all. Um, but I get a lot of questions here on YouTube from people who wanna start modeling or who think they're not good enough or who wanna get in shape or get in this or get looking like that. And to be honest, modeling was something I always kind of was interested in, but I was the girl who never felt pretty enough. Since I did have acne all throughout my school year when teachers said, oh, you should model, or people would say, oh, you should model, I just, I never felt good enough. You know, I wasn't the right kind of body type, or I wasn't, you know, I had skin issues. It wasn't until I actually started that I realized that it could be done. And you guys know that during my high school year, I left the public school and I did private study um, because of my skin and the ridicule I got for it. And during that time, um, how I actually got started, there was a photographer who was studying, he was a family friend. And for his like, um, I don't know what you would call it, for his uh, photography class assignment, he needed to shoot um, different studio lightings. and. You know, my parents said, well, why don't we all take family portraits? Um, so that's kind of how I got started. And what happened is that he used that photo. And I had terrible acne at that time, but I put makeup on. And I was really kind of nervous and awkward in front of the camera. But, you know, everyone is their first time or try that they do that. And um, he showed that to the class and he actually got awards for it. And it was like a, you know, a college class or some photography class or whatever. Um, from there, I got more offers to, like, from photographers who were trying to learn. And I thought, is this really possible? Like, I'm, I'm not professionally modeling, but I'm taking photos and looking good in them. Is this possible? Is this really happening to me? Um, so what ended up happening, I started speaking with some local designers, local clothing designers, um, other girls from modeling agencies in San Francisco, from Ford and JE, and um, from Stars. I actually was hanging out with one of my friends who, one of her family friends was a professional model with um, Look Model Management. And I was like, oh, you know, started talking to them. And I kind of started learning how to work things out. And I originally thought that you have to go take all these professional photography photos and spend like hundreds of dollars and then an agency would find you or something but it doesn't actually work that way um so what I actually did was sign up for a couple of websites just to get professional photos taken and I really have to kind of warn you guys because there are lots of people out there that prey on young aspiring talent um, there are many websites out there you can use but many of them are scams so I say whatever you choose to do be sure that you do something that is reputable that you feel comfortable with and then in addition if it's too good to be true it probably is don't let people take advantage of you know what kind of shots you want and yes they're they are for the photographer but they can't dictate what you do and make sure that you guys um, really collaborate and say this is what i want this is what i'm comfortable doing this is what i'm not this is how i want to portray myself and find professional people there are definitely many websites out there and that's kind of how you can get like a unprofessional portfolio started. And now another great thing to do is actually just have someone who can hold a digital camera, have them take photos of you, whether it's your mom, your dad, your cousin, your friend, and get a headshot. Just full on headshot, some portraits from the side, some body shots, and whether you go with these semi-professional photos or whether you go with snapshots from a digital camera, you can take these to modeling agencies. Um, so what I did, I went the route of speaking to photographers who were aspiring photographers trying to learn and everyone was trying to learn together. Um, and, but you can of course go, you know, just with snapshots, but whatever you decide to do, you take these photos to a modeling agency. You say, are you interested in working with me? And they look at you and they decide this and they decide that and all this and they look at you and they kind of figure everything out and then you'll either get offers or not and how I actually started before doing that I actually went to runway classes now you do not have to take modeling classes to be a model that is something that I personally did um, I did them at a kind of studio in the city with other models and other talent um, and from there I got my portfolio together got photos etc and you know, I signed with my first agency. And you really have to work with your agency. Basically how that works is that your agency signs you and you cannot take offers that are not through the agency. 
Um, and then they take a commission, which means if you earn money, they will take cuts from whatever it is you earn. Um, but they kind of set you up gig per gig. And I actually did an America's Next Top Model casting, which was very exciting. And I wasn't made to the final finals, but I got pretty far in there. And so that was kind of exciting as well. But the other thing you have to be careful, first thing to be careful of is the people, like, you know, photographers and other talent who may be more interested in their own um, motives than yours or their own success than yours. But then the second thing is also contracts. Be very careful when it comes to contracts, whether it's an agency, whether it's with an agency or whether it's with it, or whether it's with America's Next Top Model, um, there was a lot of fine print that I wasn't comfortable with and that a lot of other people weren't as well. Um, so that's something I would say. So um, that's kind of how it all happened for me. You know, you get signed, you get this, and then once you get like in magazines, you actually tear those out and you put those, they're tear sheets, you put those into your portfolio. And then when you're looking for a new agency or you're looking for something different, that's kind of how you get gigs. Um, now I get a lot of people telling me um, I don't feel pretty enough or I don't feel thin enough or I don't feel this enough or that enough. Let me tell you, you do not have to be this cookie cutter model shape. There used to be this stereotype that models had to be thin and they had to be this and they had to be that and that is really changing. Um, in runway it is still pretty strict if you're looking to do catwalks or runway. Um, there are some stricter guidelines when it comes to that as far as height goes. They usually want people between 5'9 and 6 feet, um, maybe 5'8". Um, but nowadays there is like so much more openness about it. It's just, it's crazy. Like I would go to modeling agencies and they would say, no, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to change your hair. Right. And I wasn't going to do that. I was like, I love myself. If you don't love me the way I am, I'm not going to change just to do this for you. Um, uh, but then I would talk to my friend who's a model and who has the same hair color as me. And she goes in there and gets a gig. And I'm like, wait, they told me to change my hair. And this is six months later. So I go back and I said, you know, I had a question. I, I understand that you didn't want to cast me because of my hair can I ask why that happened they were like oh that was six months ago we decided to change our minds and now it's this so even if you're rejected a hundred times keep going hundred first hundred second try 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 again because they want something different every year also when you think about it the model on the Safeway commercial who's eating an apple they do not look stick thin you know um, there's plus size modeling um, and even without weight, there is just so much diversity. If every model looked the same and was tall and thin and this and that, every advertiser would be kind of out of luck. And if you actually look at advertising in magazines, fashion versus high fashion versus um, catalog versus lifestyle, people drinking coffee at Starbucks, people in commercials, they are actors and models. And these people come in all shapes and sizes. So when someone tells me, oh, you have to be this to be a model, I say, no, you don't. And it kind of upsets me. And yes, it may be easier for someone who's physically fit to get that modeling gig than someone who's not. But at the same time, never say never, because there are people who I would even look at and say, oh, I don't think this person would make it in the industry. And they're able to just take off. For instance, Tyra Banks, she was told no, 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 um, just because she was more athletic and then she gets the cover of a uh, Sports Illustrated magazine. So never let someone else kind of dictate what you do because that's how you fail. Um, it's really about pushing forward, staying true to yourself. If you don't want to dye your hair a different color, then don't dye your hair a different color. If you don't want to lose or gain a ton of weight, then don't. Be yourself and keep on working until you find someone who loves you for you. And then once you get there, push. Because if you look like everyone else, you're just gonna be like everyone else. You're gonna be disposable. But if you are different in some way and show people that you can make your differentness work for you, then go for it. For instance, um, Mick Jagger's daughter, I don't know her name off the top of my head, she has this huge gap in her teeth. And so many people, there were a lot of people who criticized and said she's never gonna be a model. She has this gap between her teeth. She's working for Calvin Klein right now. She's doing all these amazing promotions and she looks great. And that gap in her teeth that is a flaw has become one of her best trademark assets. So whatever it is you have, don't let someone tell you that you're not beautiful or you're not good enough. Um, because it may take work to get them to understand what a good thing that is. Um, but you're made the way you are for a reason. And it's about really, embracing yourself for who you are and who you love and putting that out there. Um, so if you are looking to get started, my biggest tips are always also, if you're ever going to a photo shoot, make sure that you bring a mom, a dad, a boyfriend, a parent, a friend, someone, and if the photographer says they don't want those people there, 
it's there's a reason that they're saying that and that shoot is not what you think it's going to be for instance if you want to go to a photo shoot and they say oh well we don't want you to bring anyone because it's distracting um, it's not that distracting and if they're not gonna let you bring someone then that's not somewhere you need to go because it's probably not gonna end up being a photo shoot um, so really be careful kind of check things out and like I said you don't even have to get photographs because if you just get those headshots, bring them to an agency, that agency will get you professional photographers, which is how I built my portfolio. I started with all these just little photographers here and there, and then once I got into agency work, they were able to say, here's a BB fashion show. And I was able to do that and get those photos and put those into my portfolio. Also remember that your portfolio is only as good as your worst photo. It is better to have 10 photos that look great than to have 20 where 10 look great and 10 look okay. Um, because that worst photo is going to show your worst work and you want to put your best work forward. Um, so that's just kind of my tips. Um, if you guys are looking to get started, um, like I said, definitely find reputable people. Explore Modeling is actually a website. I used Model Mayhem for a while, but I kind of had a bad experience there. Explore Modeling is a website where um, people can actually go to get signed to agencies. So if you don't live in San Francisco or New York or Miami um, or LA and you can't walk into an agency door, um, that's the way you can find them online. You can also just email them photos or mail them photos in the mail. Um, but that's what I would recommend and I get a lot of questions about this so I really hope this helped. Um, but I love you guys. Again, I hope that it wasn't too windy or the birds weren't like chirping all up in your face. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. If you have additional questions, feel free to let me know. And I look forward to talking to y'all soon. <sighs> love you guys. Bye.